I'm Dr. Carolyn Chambers, and I'm the Dean of Science, Engineering, and Math at Cerritos College. Um, and I am also director of the STEM grant, which has been the funding agency for the courses that you're taking this summer and all of the other activities that go with it. Um, uh, and I'm also a biologist. Any biologists in the house? Um, the, the STEM grant was something that was given to Cerritos College after a lot of work that we put into it um, in, in order to help students who are in the STEM areas. What does STEM stand for? Science, technology, engineering, and math. Uh, what? I heard mumbles. They're, they were mumbling very well. Um, the, the grant itself was something that was given to us uh, for two main purposes. Uh, one is to make sure that our students are as successful as possible in STEM courses and because of that uh, have a lot more students finish their degrees and transfer and get certificates and all the other things you can do with successful um, performance in STEM classes. So that's the point of the grant and one of the things that we're trying to do with these FYE summer classes is to make sure that you get a good start on getting that to happen. Uh, so that's what we're doing in the FYE courses. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. Um, but one of the things, first thing I want to do is to introduce you to some of the people who, here who are working on the STEM grant and who are working in SCM classes. I'm, that's the science, engineering, and math division of the campus. Um, and first of all, there's Paul. I can find him. He's there. He works in the STEM grant office, and so he's doing a lot of the work behind the scenes. Hey, say Paul. <laughs> uh, there, there is another group of student workers who are a combination of some different groups that are all people that you might have met when you first came in that are working at the tables in the back. Um, back there, there are people who are hired to be instructional aides in the summer courses that you are going to be taking, so you may see some of them um, during the summer. And I don't know if any of the tour guides are here yet, but some of those people are here who are going to be taking you on tours. Those are students who are here at the college as well. So thank you to all of you back there. <laughs> um, and then there also are instructors here for your courses. And one of the things that we're going to do here is to meet them and um, we're going to hear from one of them. Um, uh, Connie Boardman is here, down right in front of, she was the one who waved about being the biologist, so she's here. Um, I saw Mojda Nikdel, who's a mathematics instructor. You want to stand up and wave wherever you ended up? I don't know. Mojda is in the back. Uh, Feng Nguyen is a CIS, Computer Information Sciences instructor, and he's here. He's so good, we listed him twice. You can see he's teaching two of these courses, uh, the introductory course and a programming course in computer science. Um, other instructors I didn't see coming in. Is there anybody else who's here who came in at the last minute? Okay, they will, um, several of those people will still be coming uh, today. Um, Okay, so um, what is a FYE course? FYE means it's a first year experience course. Um, and what that means is that it is intentionally made for students uh, who are entering freshmen, and we have a lot of you here, but not all of you are entering freshmen, I know that, um, or are in their first year of college, or then there are additional students who have had more experience than that. Uh, but the whole point of the FYE course is to help you into uh, uh, habits that will stay with you for your whole college experience that will help you be successful students. And these will vary from one class to another, so I can't tell you exactly what it's going to be in your class, um, but the instructor may help you with study skills, uh, may help you with reviewing for tests and learning how to study for their particular kinds of tests. Um, they may uh, 
add information about careers um, or particular relevance of what the material is that you're studying to your future, whether you are a STEM major or go into a STEM career or not. Uh, so there are lots of different things that might be helpful to you as um, a STEM student. Um, and, and those are things that we put an extra careful concern for putting those things into these courses that are FYE courses. Okay, um, so these are special classes, and they are here because of the STEM grant, because all of the money that goes into these courses came from the grant, and so that's why they are a special group of classes. Um, and so that's why you're here for the orientation, is to make sure that you get started in those classes correctly and understand what all the different kinds of services are that the campus provides to you. So even if you are not a, just a beginning student, uh, a lot of the things you learn in the classes may be helpful to you in being successful. Um, a lot of you came from different directions, from different kind of backgrounds, and um, a lot of you have a, a lot of different pathways to go through to get to finish your college education. Um, and, and we all start at particular places and we all end up in other places. And um, as you go through this developmental process, this is just one step along the way. But there are a lot of people to help you. Um, and I will introduce several of them to you as we go through the orientation and you'll be able to hear from them about how they can help you in this process. Uh, we have some other people who are here to talk to you as you can see on your agenda. Uh, and the first person who will be speaking to you is Ms. Connie Boardman. Uh, she is a biology instructor and she's sort of representing the instructor's point of view uh, from, uh, for this orientation for the FYE courses. Connie? Thank you, Dr. Chambers. My name is Connie Boardman. I teach the Bio 120 course as part of the first year experience. And um, I heard uh, just now that some one of the fears that some of you have is that you uh, won't make friends. So um, let me give you a, a hint. In addition to being an instructor here, I'm also the advisor to the Wilderness Club. And we go on hikes. Uh, and we also do community service uh, projects around um, natural areas. So if you like to walk and hike uh, in the fall, look for the startup of the Wilderness Club. We have lots of great people uh, who are in the club and it's one wonderful way to make friends because we commonly carpool to our destinations and uh, that's kind of a natural way to start a conversation and chat with folks in the car. So um, one thing too is there's lots of clubs on campus and yeah, I think you've got a list in the back. Um, there's bound to be something that interests you. So that's one way um, to feel kind of connected with other people on campus. Um, some of you right now may know what your major is, may know what your career goals are, may have an idea of the school that you want to transfer to to finish up uh, after you've completed a couple of years here. And some of you may have no clue as to any of those things. Whether you do or you don't, you're in the right place. The mission of Cerritos College is teaching. And everyone who's part of the first year experience who teaches in this uh, program is committed to helping you not only learn the material that we cover in our course, but is committed to helping you be successful students. One of my colleagues in chemistry is fond of saying, no matter how much we love you, we really want to get rid of you. Um, and what she means by that is we want you to progress. We want you to move on, to transfer, to maybe get into our nursing program or a, another health-related field. We want you to earn your certificates. So we don't want you to spend eight years here at Cerritos College as much as we love you. Uh, we're committed to your success and your progress as well. Um, so Cerritos is a great place both for those of you who know what you want to do and for those of you who don't. Uh, I had a lot of interests and I used the community college system when I was a student to explore those different interests. I ended up transferring to Cal State Long Beach where I got a bachelor's degree in zoology and a master's in biology. But before that, I majored in natural resource management, I majored in photography, I majored in outdoor recreation. So I explored a bit, and there's nothing wrong with exploration. Use the uh, requirements that you have to meet for your general education to explore different kinds of fields if you're still a little unsure about what you want to major in. You may discover interests that you never knew you had. Um, so while um, all of us in the program are committed to helping you be successful students, ultimately you are responsible for your own success. 
Uh, and let me uh, give you an idea of what we as instructors will be expecting from you. We expect you to attend every class meeting and be on time. We expect you to be an active participant in class, to ask questions in class. Um, we expect you to complete all the assignments we give you and hand those in on time. We expect you to prepare adequately for quizzes and exams. And we expect you to ask questions if you don't understand the concepts we're covering or the processes we're covering. And I know people can feel reluctant to ask questions in class because they don't want other people to think they're stupid. But other people, trust me, have the same questions you do. Um, and they will be relieved that you're asking it and so they don't have to. Okay? So don't feel bad about asking questions. Uh, and all of these things that I just mentioned are really important in summer school because we're covering 18 weeks of material in six weeks. We're moving incredibly fast, typically a chapter or more a day. So there isn't time for you to wonder about things and mull things over because the next day you're on to a new topic. So please speak up during class, get your questions answered right away, um, and don't get behind. So, like I said, we're here to help you, but ultimately you are responsible for your own academic success, not your parents, not your teachers, not your friends. It's up to you. Now, there are many resources here at Cerritos to help you be successful. We have a wonderful student um, success center with a math learning center, a writing center. Um, certainly your instructors, and a lot of the courses have tutors that will be able to help you as well. Um, and the iFalcon website. If you haven't checked out that iFalcon website, it is a treasure trove of um, behaviors and uh, hints and instruction on how students can be successful in college. So please check that out as well. So we're here to help, but remember, your success is in your hands. Um, so come to class well prepared. Get ready for those quizzes and exams. The semester, the summer semester is going to move very quickly, and I wish you great success and a wonderful summer class. If you're a STEM major, you have two counselors who are specifically prepared to counsel you in what you need to do and uh, what your educational program should be. Uh, so um, those two counselors are Brittany Lundeen, which is the person I thought was going to be here, but surprise. <laughs> the other one is Rocio Casillas, and she is here. So uh, some words from Rocio. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome. My name is Rocio Casillas. Um, as Dr. Chambers said, I'm one of the SEM counselors here on campus. Um, you're fortunate uh, to be in this program because this summer, um, the SEM counselors actually have appointments available to see you guys. Uh, summer is one of the busiest times of years for the counseling office, and typically we go into what we call walk-in mode, where students are able to come in and see us for 10 minutes. And usually you wait you know, a couple of hours to see us for those 10 minutes. Um, but being part of the SEM program and being uh, part of the SEM classes this summer, you guys will be able to come in and see us for appointments if you wish to. Um, we have seen several of you already, actually, during this uh, spring semester and start of the summer. But if you haven't had a chance to come in to see us for an appointment, please do so. Um, you can call the counseling office front desk and they will schedule you uh, to see either Ms. Lundin or myself. Just make sure you identify yourself as a STEM student. Um, and they would be happy to book you uh, with us for a 30 minute session so that we can do some more long term planning with you. Um, we will also be coming by your classes. Um, we'll be stopping by to, you know, just say hello. Some of your instructors have asked us to come in and, and, and you know, uh, talk to you guys about transfer and educational planning. So we'll be visiting a couple of your classes so we might see you again there. Um, and then as this, you know, summer ends and we go into fall, you're also welcome to come in to see us. We recommend you come in at least once a semester to see a counselor because um, it's good to update your educational plan, make sure you're on track. Sometimes things change and we want to make sure that you're taking the appropriate classes. As um, Ms. Boardman says, we love you, but we don't want you to spend, you know, the next eight years here if you don't have to. We want to make sure you're taking the right classes according to your goals. 
Okay, so um, I'm happy to see all of you here. It's a great turnout, and um, if you have any other questions afterwards, I'd be happy to answer them. Thank you. Um, our next speaker will be Carla York. She's an academic coach, and you may not know what that is, but you're going to find out. So if you need her, you know who she is. Thank you. Hi everybody, um, like Dr. Chambers says, my name is Carla York and I am your academic coach. And so I'm sure most people have never heard of an academic coach or knows what that means. Um, but, but as part of being first year experienced students, I am the person to support you outside of your educational plan. So I have had students come into my office that maybe are having some difficulties at home. Um, I've had students come in my office because they just need someone to talk to. I have had students come in my office because they don't know how to fill out their FAFSA. Um, they're not sure what resources are available to them on campus. So I actually have um, assigned office hours that I can see you guys. And I'm, I always have four hours per week. And I will also take students on a drop-in basis. Vanji, who I'm sure everybody has met, is very good about directing students to my office. Um, I'm going to give you my office information. I'm in the business education building. I am in BE 104. My phone number, so get a pen and write it down, it's 562-860-2451, extension 2484. And you can also reach me by email, which is C Y O R K E at cerritos.edu. Um, I have an open door policy. You can come see me whenever. I see some students that I've actually provided services to here, so they very much know that I have an open door policy. I'm also the advisor for the STEM club, so if that's something you're interested in joining, you can definitely come and see me and talk to me about some of the activities that we do um, in the STEM club. Um, they just went on a camping trip a few weeks ago. I didn't go, because they know I don't like camping. But, I, um, but they do plan activities, they go on field trips, um, we have meetings once a month. So my job really is to support you and be here as a resource for you and to help guide you through your time here at Cerritos College. Um, I do work closely with Brittany and Rocio, so um, we have a pretty good working relationship with each other. I work very closely with Vanjie as well. So my philosophy is if I don't know it, I will find it out. Um, there's nothing that you can tell me that's going to shock me. And everything that we talk about is confidential and private. So don't feel like there's nothing you can come and talk to me about. In case you're wondering credentials, um, I have a master's degree in education from USC. And I also did my undergrad at USC in business. Um, I've done many, many years of counseling to people. Um, I actually am an ordained minister, so I have the authority to counsel people. Um, I counsel foster youth all the time. I'm a mentor to young people outside of Cerritos College, so that's why nothing you can say will really shock me. So please feel free to come by my office. Um, feel free to email me and call me. I am available. I'm here Monday through Thursdays during the summertime. And my office hours um, are posted on my door. And I will be having my July office hours posted up um, July 1st. And it'll also be on the STEM website um, probably in the next three to four days. Okay. Thank you very much. OK, thank you, Carla. Um, I knew there were some good answers to these questions out there, so I've tried to find some of them for you. The um, thing I'm most afraid of about going to college, self-doubting myself when I know I'm capable of succeeding. So that's a good lesson right there. Um, you might doubt yourself, but we know you are capable of succeeding. You wouldn't be here if we didn't think that you were capable of succeeding. Um, another one that I think is probably one of the more realistic ones, the thing I'm most afraid of about going to college is walking into the wrong classroom. You know how you can fix that though, right? It's what everybody gets told when they first start, go find your classrooms before the first day of class. And one thing I will also warn you is come to class early, very, very early, especially the first week of classes. 
Everybody's looking for a parking place. Nobody can find one. Everybody is late, and there are lots of faculty. If you're not there on time, we'll drop you from the class. So a word of warning, be early to class, especially the first days, the first week. Um, and then where I'll be in 10 years is hopefully running my own dental business. Okay. Um, and then, of course, there's always the confidence that will make somebody say the thing I'm most afraid of about going to college is nothing. <laughs> so good for you. Good for you. Okay. My name is Vanjie Modena Reichwein. I'm the program assistant assigned to the STEM grant. Um, you see my name all over. STEM page, web page, I'm patting your back, I'm hugging you, whatever it is. Um, I am the individual you usually first meet when you're introduced to the STEM grant. I'm what they call the info person. Um, I have an open door policy. You can come and see me in PST 107 anytime you want to, but do not come into my office and be late to a class, okay? Because I'll make sure I'll tell one of the professors. Um, I have a quote from um, a US military army vet from World War II. He entered in as a private and he left at his rank as um, a captain. It's a quote all of you know, but he's got an amazing history. He said, if you can imagine it, you can achieve it. If you can dream it, you can become it. But that wasn't the most important quote when I started reading the book about him. He really knew what teaching was. It's all the instructors that are listed on your agenda in this STEM grant. You students are gonna have an amazing experience with the Carla York, with um, Dr. Chambers, with the counselors, with the people behind the scenes, such as um, the research and development over there, you're going to have instructors that are just amazing, all of them, every one of them. And there's a saying he said, a mediocre teacher tells, a uh, good teacher explains, a superior teacher demonstrates, and the teachers that you have, every one of these, a great teacher, um, I forgot that last word, inspires. So, welcome to STEM. You know I'm always available. Um, we're gonna get some pizza here in a few minutes, so um, please talk to each other. That's why we want you to sit with each other, so you can meet with each other and buddy up, okay? Now, I need a big applause. I feel bad just standing up. Okay. That's what I mean. What did that one student tell me? That's what I'm talking about, okay? All righty. <laughs>